what's your thoughts for uh, or what what's your um you know suggestion or recommendation for people who are just starting out right now um you know it, they might look at the, the market and, and it might feel quite daunting to them thinking that actually you know entrepreneurship is the least glamorous it's ever been uh it actually you do have to eat a lot of <laughs> eat a lot of shit basically and uh, and and it's 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 tougher than it's ever been but what's your thoughts for somebody who's just starting out right now and they might look at this and think this is just too daunting for me entrepreneurship is a set of mind you know i i've been an entrepreneur for many years of course in my early days i um, you know i went to work for some companies to get experience but i've always wanted to work for myself and and you know be the ceo of the company so you have that kind of mindset and uh, most of the entrepreneurs that i see they have similar mindset it'll be very difficult for them to go and work for a company and for somebody else because they all they all have this you know, brain that always full of ideas, you know, I'm like, I always want to improve something. This is not working well, you know, why, is, you know, so they have this mindset of, of changing the way the status quo, right? And uh, people who always want to change the status quo, I mean, no, no matter what's happening in the market, I think they will, it's going to be very difficult for them to not think that way. They will still want to change it. So uh, the suggestion here would be, don't try at this moment at the state of of market try to build something that is so far away and so innovative that majority of people would not understand this uh try to find something that can improve uh whatever is happening you know uh, with some software or some service or digitalize let's say uh an, an older archaic uh, ecosystem or a vertical because there's still a lot i mean there's still so so many uh, uh, verticals uh, in business and in economies in many countries that are so old they're still using like spreadsheets and pen and paper and all of these other things so when it comes to like b2b SaaS, i say try to look for maybe they're not going to be so attractive at the moment you know these uh, things and um they're not going to be like super innovative like 10 15 years out uh you know technologies uh gra you know groundbreaking technologies but maybe they'll be incremental innovations let's call them that that you know you can implement and you can see the results like right away within like six months you can see the effect on the on somebody's business uh from using your technology so i would say that right now maybe is a good time for incremental innovations uh that can show you quick results quick revenues that investors could would support because they can see those results right away and then let's say you build a donkey first before you build a unicorn you know build a, a donkey build build a company that can start working right away and it's a working little horse and then you can add you know wings to it you can add a horn to it you can paint it in rainbow colors whatever but first you know try to do something that can show quick results and can give efficiency to somebody right away then investors would believe that this is uh, uh survivable and this is not gonna die and uh it's scalable and then you can build up on top of that you know uh, some innovative features and then kind of go to the, to your moonshots and then try to change an industry completely try to disrupt it because trying to come forward and say i'm building a new google i'm building a new chat gpt i'm building a new facebook right now it's going to sound more like a fairy tale and investors go okay okay i heard this many times so okay thank you next so uh it's just a state of of market where uh, big ideas are hard to to believe in at the moment and uh, maybe you, get, you downscale it a little bit uh, uh, make it uh, you know um, more reliable and understandable with a horizon of a few years where you can show the uh, clear path to you know to profitability or to grow in revenues and then from there you will have a, b a bigger plan like depending on your fundraising right saying hey if I raise this much then we can build up on top of that and then we go to you know to a different uh to a different size of a mountain nice that that was a very very good ending uh and, and sound advice so basically big ideas right now are not very believable just take baby steps think about what can you improve in where the market is right now of course, with um, new technologies coming through the door every day, like ChatGPT, you could wake up in the morning and whatever you built might be completely irrelevant. But then you have to just try and figure out a way to, um, you know, to, to 
navigate the maze, essentially.